Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 44 of Kate DA24 exam. Now this question was asked for two marks, and this question is based on AI course. Okay, AI subject. We already discussed what is BFS and what is DFS in PDSA course also and in AI course also. But this question is from AI course because here we are because here we are dealing with the state base okay now let's read the question first consider a state base where the start node is number one so my starting node is number one so start state is number one the successor function for the state number n returns two state number n plus one and n plus two now what does this particular sentence mean suppose this is my start at number one the successor function for this particular state 1 will be what? n plus 1 is what? So 1 plus 1 is 2 and this will be n plus 2 will be what? 3. So whenever I am expanding any node, it will result in 2 node that will give me n plus 1 and n plus 2. Similarly, if I expand 2, it will give me 2 plus 1, 3 and 2 plus 2, 4 like this. Similarly, if I expand 3, it will give me 3 plus 1, 4 and 3 plus uh, 2, 5. Okay. So, this is what this particular function is doing here. Assume that the state in the unexpanded state list are expanded in ascending order of the numbers. Like for example, if you know in BFS, we go level by level. That is breadth first search. Right. Now, first we have explored 1, then we can explore 2 and 3. So, we are going level by level. But if I explore this state 1, I have two choices here. I can go for 2, I can go for 3 also. But which node I have to explore first, that is given in this particular sentence. That the state in unexpanded state, so 1 is my unexpanded state, are expanded in the ascending order of the numbers. Now I need to expand in the ascending order of the numbers, so 2 first and then 3 first, like this, okay. So this is given to us. And the previously expanded states are not added to unexpanded state list. Now if you observe here, here I have 3, here also I have 3. Now, if I already explore this particular 3 first, then I don't need to explore these 3. Then I don't need to explore this particular uh, node 3. Or if I explore this 3 first, then I don't need to explore this particular uh, node. Okay. So, this is what this particular sentence is saying. I hope you understand the question first. Okay. So, everything is based on question here. Then just how well you know BFS and DFS, that's it. Right. Which one of the following statement about breadth first search? And depth for search is true when reaching the goal state number 6. Okay. Now we need to apply BFS and DFS both the algorithms to this particular state base and see what we get. Okay. So for example, I am at state number 1. Now I am expanding this one. Okay. So let's apply first BFS. So I am applying a BFS. Okay. Expand. So first I am expanding 1. If I expand 1, what I will get? I will get 2, 3. Now, if I expand 1, which node I have to explore uh, next? That is basically in ascending order. So, first 2 I need to explore. Then I will explore 2. From 2, where I can go? If I expand this particular 2, by using the successor function, I will get 3 and 4. So, I will get 3, 4. But we are following BFS, right? So, it go level by level like this. So, after exploring 1, exploring 2, I need to explore this particular node first, that is 3. Now, if I explore 3, what I will get? Again, I will get 2 node, that is n plus 1 is 4 and n plus 2 is 5. So, like this. So, this is 4 and this will be 5. Right? So, I have explored both the levels. Now, next, I will go for this particular 3. But this 3 is already in the expanded state, right? I already expand the node 3. So, I am not going to expand this now. Now, next will be this particular node 4. So, if I expand this node 4, what I will get? 4 plus 1, 5 and 4 plus 2 is 6, right? So, that is basically 5 comma 6. Now, next I am going to explore this particular thing because level by level we are going, right? And if you follow my tutorial or lectures, how we are going to follow this particular level by level? Because it works on Q data structure, okay? So, BFS works on few data structure. That's why we are able to follow breadth wise. Okay. I am not applying the Q data structure here. Uh, how we are going to visit this node in a breadth wise. Okay. 
So please watch my tutorial based on this BFS. You can watch in PDSA course also and AI course also. Okay. Now I have explored four. Now next node I have to explore in this particular breath is what this particular node four. But this is in the already expanded state, so I don't need to explore this. Now my next node will be this one five. Five. Now if I expand this, what I will get six and seven. Okay. So I will get six and seven if I expand this, right? Now next, what I need to go, what about uh, this particular thing? So, so in the next, so in the next step, I need to go to a next level. What about this node five? I already expanded, so I don't need to explore. And here you can see six. So I already got the my goal state that is six. So this is my goal state. This is my goal state, and I already got the goal state. So how many nodes I have expanded? One, two, three, four, five. So BFS required five state to expand. Okay, so you can see five state are expand in the case of BFS state. Okay, five state to expand in the case of BFS. Now let's try to apply a depth first search here. That is DFS. Okay, expand. So first I have node one. Now from node one, if I explore this, I will get this two and three like this. Yes. But from node 1, which node I have to explore according to a given condition, node 2. Now node 2, if I explore node 2. So first I have expand 1, now I am expanding 2. If I expand 2, what I will get? I will get a 3 and 4 like this. Right? Now what happens in the case of depth first search, we follow stack data structure. Okay, stack data structure. So, if you are following one particular path, so we go in the depth of that particular uh, path and then if there are no nodes to explore, then we backtrack to a previous unexplored node and how we are and how we are doing that by using stack data structure. Okay. Now, this thing you should know. Now, if you are applying the DFS to this particular uh, state space, so first I have expand 1, then I have expand 2, now I am expanding 3, so expanding 3, right. Again, I'm expanding this 3 as 4 and this will be as 5 and plus 1 and n plus 2. Yes, but I need to explore 4 first, not 5, 4, 3 because we are following depth first search. Now I'm going to explore node 4. So explore a node 4. Now if I expand this 4, what I will get? 5 and 6, right? Now next node I have to explore is this particular node 5. So if I expand this 5, what I will get? I will get six right so in how many state i have required to reach the dfs one two three four five so here also i required five state to reach the goal number six that is goal state number six okay so in the both the case bfs and dfs i required equal number of states so that is basically option c is correct okay i hope you understand this particular question so the main thing of this particular question is that you need to read the question carefully what is given in the question and how DFS and BFS works. So that thing you should know. Then you can easily solve this type of question. Okay. I hope you understand this particular solution. So that's it from this particular video. Thank you.